very nicely uh, formed formation of uh, hydroxia pophyllite. Now think of the Indian apophyllites where you have these sharp points and the core in the middle. In this case you have just the core in the middle without the sharp points and this is simply how they form. So lying flat Let's give you a look there. Almost the cost of this hydroxy apophyllite. <coughs> but usually as a core, we have the uh, appreciated manganese matrix holding it together. So let's have a look at the back. Yes, mild crust of appreciated manganese. And then sitting right across that would be these uh, hydroxy apophyllite uh, uh, crystals, which, uh, which range in color from a... A sort of a, a almost a, a see-through going into a sort of a milky, creamy white, going maybe into a mild beige in some cases. All the way from the Channing to my northern cape of South Africa, a lovely, a very, very well-formed piece of this uh, material. Uh, uh, some may like, my, may like a rectangular uh, specimen and some would like a square. I, I go more for the square. So the, the edges are, are dimensionally coordinated with the outside of the specimen. And here we're looking at about two inches and across maybe just also. All the way from South Africa, hydroxy apophyllite.